Hello guys, welcome back to LNAP. For today's video, we are going to show you or discuss with you how to create a client portal in Wix. So, if you're interested, let's get started. So, you might be wondering how do you create that client portal in Wix here? Well, creating one is pretty simple. We could actually install an app that adds this functionality for us. But first things first is you want to go to Wix.com here and you just need to log in into your account. Now in your account here, obviously there are or there might be multiple uh, websites or projects that you're currently, website, uh, currently working right now. So you want to go and just choose that website. So as an example, maybe I have this web uh, website here for podcasts. Let's go and click on the next site. And from here, we want to add the functionality for, uh, in this case, client or a client portal. So what we need to do is we want to go and enter the editor itself. So you can want to go and click on the sign site at the top right here. But before that, I would highly recommend you to first finishing up the design of your website. So generally speaking here, like the site design, site theme, uh, setting up your uh, payments, all of those uh, just basically just set up your store here or your website. But yeah, let's go and click on the sign site at the top right here. Now from here, we want to go ahead and basically add an app. Like what I discussed, uh, like what I said before, uh, the functionality to add a client portal here needs to be installed. So by default, it's not yet included here in Wix and you need to add a functionality. Now at the left side here, we have a number of options and icons here, but we want to look for the add apps option. Let's go and click on it. Now from here, it should redirect you to app market. You want to go to search apps here and just type in the following, which is going to be customer, press enter. It's going to give you different options here. We have Wix chat and we also have uh, different apps here. Let's go and look for the one that uh, we want to use. Now, just in case you don't see it in here, you may want to change your uh, keyword. Let's go and just uh, type in member. Search for member and you should see the Wix member area. So you want to go and click on it and you want to go and just add this to your website. Let's go and click on add again since I haven't added this to my website. And from here, it's going to start adding uh, the app itself. But as you can see, it doesn't necessarily see or allow us to uh, do anything yet. So what we need to do is you want to go to the left side here. You want to go to pages and menu. And in here at the left side, you have member area which in this case, uh, you want to go and just click on it. It's going to give you like profile, account settings, my programs, notifications, and my subscriptions, which in this case allows you to view those different pages uh, if you want to edit them. Now, since we now know how to access the site menu here, so uh, we want to go and just start adding the actual login bar. Now, how do you do that? So first you want to go to the left side here, you want to go and click on the plus button. And from here, you want to look for community and other community. You want to go and look for login bar. Let's go and click on it. Now from here, you want to go and just click on this to add this into your website. As you can see, it's now added. I could go and, uh, by the way, we have that default one here, but we want to delete this one or uh, let's go and dismiss here. And from here, we just add a login bar. So you could just reposition this in whatever way you want. If you want to add it at the very top center here, Go ahead and do that but yeah so we now have it in here now if you click on it you have the option to set up login bar so if you click on it you now have the option to change how it looks like like for example text full member profile here the app their size and a lot more so there are going to be some customizations that you could actually do here now you could also change the element direction here so again a lot a lot of things that you could do here they also have the log out option so just in case the a client or the member is currently logged out from their account this is what it's going to look like so you can customize that now also have the click or uh, you have the actually manage menu option so if you click on it you have the option to view uh, what are the menu items inside this one like account settings your profile notification my programs and my subscription so you can even add a new uh, menu item here just in case now if you want to redesign this you can go and click on design you can change the fill color opacity border corners even have the hover effect and the selected effect here. You also have animation effects here if you want to add that fancy animations into your uh, login bar. Now, in this case, let's go to the left side here, go to pages and menu. Now, like what I said before, depending on what you want to edit here, we want to go and just edit that for our, let's just say, our member area. So at the left side, we want to go and click on members area, 
if you go and click on pro uh, profile here you should be able to see your profile so it might take a while to load up but yeah so this is our profile now in this case it may have this pop up here so in this case uh you could go and just uh set up pages here for login members so you close this one if you want to explore that you could go ahead but generally speaking this is what the uh user's profile would actually look like should show their profile their name and you could even uh, edit details on it to specific page here but generally speaking the actual widget here that you see already works so you don't have to do or change anything but just in case if you click on it you still have settings if you want to change the member profile card here so in this case you can customize the profile card uh, manage the badges here you can change the text the layout the display design badges and if you need support you go and choose support here so yeah so this one's pretty simple if you're going to think about it now then again you also have like the uh, login bar at the very top because we are again we already added this into our website it's going to stick in there and if you want to visit other pages that like for account settings, you can go and click on it. And you should be able to see the account settings here. And same thing, you can change uh, like certain layouts into it. Like change layout for this one, page layout. You also have uh, the option for uh, manage member pages if you want. So if you click on it, it should pop up or give you a pop up here, which in this case allows you to change the account settings. So in this case, you have all it and account as well, profile. And all the pages here if you want okay, you can remove the certain page here if you want so yeah so you also have the option to edit the actual uh design and add animations effects just in case you want to add those so the great thing about these uh, pages that you see here uh you could actually edit or add like further elements like for example if you want to include a video in here so in this case, you're going to expand this one. You can add like videos, uh, images, buttons, whatever you want to add here. You can add, just add that into your account. Sorry, your website here. So yeah, you could add like images, uh, videos if you want. So yeah, so setting this up is generally uh, pretty easy. So let's give you some idea. Let's go and click on uh, publish at the top right here. And let's go and just uh, visit this page. And it should show us this one. So let's go and click on view site. It should show us our website. As you can see, there's login. If you click on login at the very top, it should show you the option to uh, basically log in. Now, like what I said before, uh, since we just added an app, uh, everything is uh, set up for us. You don't have to change much. So and just maybe the only thing you need to update here is going to be the design of the actual website or the pages that we just set up. But to be speaking, everything should be set up for you. You don't have to worry about it as long as you've installed it properly here and visit the correct pages. But yeah, so in this case, that's about it. So hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to LenApp. Thank you for watching.